so much for agreeing to conduct our first producing dance workshop at uh, Pickle Factory Season 4, uh, which is on the 10th of February. I just um, wanted to ask you to give us a little bit of an overview of um, what the producing dance workshop is going to be about. Hi, Vikram, and hello to um, all viewers, uh, many of whom I hope to meet when uh, I'm with you uh, in Calcutta in later in February. Well, when we, when you and I were, were talking, Vikram, uh, we discussed the idea that there are many things that one can and should think about when presenting or producing dance. And we explored the sort of, well, how do we put across some of those needs, some of those things without uh, being overly didactic, without being, without preaching, without lecturing. The way that I've, I'm structuring this very short workshop, which is only three hours after, is to look at ways in which we together we being the participants, I and others whom I will talk about, whom I will bring in digitally, explore some of the ideas and come up with some of the answers for, to the questions we have. What are the questions? Well, we're looking, we're looking at what presenting dance is about. What are the challenges? What do we need to think about in order to make a presentation, a production, um, clear, a positive experience for the artists, a positive experience for the audience, and we must never forget the audience. What are the things that we have to have in place? Uh, logistical, practical, but also, at a deeper level, the atmosphere that we want to create that will make dance artists give their best, produce their best, and will help audiences appreciate and understand the work that they see, which may be unfamiliar to them. I think it's important to, to realize, to, um, to acknowledge that there isn't one, one form of dance. Uh, there are many forms of dance. I have been privileged in my life to have experienced a number of them and to dance some of them. And all of them have very different needs. They're not exactly, they have some things in common, but some of the needs are very different. And some of those things is, are the things that I would like to explore together. You uh, spoke a little bit about uh, other people that you will be bringing in digitally. So if you could talk a little bit about who these people are and uh, what you've invited them to contribute. Uh, we have people like um, Emmanuel de Vara, who is a French agent, a dance agent, dance presenter, dance producer, who has most recently worked for the Théâtre National de Chaillot in Paris. Uh, and she's looking at issues, at specific issues that have to do with how do we, how we support artists. Um, I asked my friend Eckhart Thiemann, who is an, uh, a highly experienced presenter and producer of dance events and festivals. What he has done is a very useful pressing, a very useful summary of some of the issues that he considers important in presenting dance from his perspective. And his perspective is somebody working on a regular basis programming dance. Then I have um, asked uh, Betsy Gregory, who was most recently director of Dance Umbrella, one of the world's contemporary, largest contemporary dance festivals, uh, to give give me her thoughts about how we develop trust between artists and producers. Last, but certainly not least, um, Eva Martinez, 
who is um, French, Spanish, British, um, raised in Paris and worked in Paris, but most recently has worked for Sadler's Wells Theatre, which is today in the UK, probably the most important large scale presenter of dance. And she was responsible for programming together with the artistic director. I was specifically interested in hearing about how does a theater like Sadler's was a very large scale theater, how does it address issues of trust? How does it address issues of fitting in the audience, what the audience can accept with what the artist wants to present and what the venue wishes to present? How does that relationship get brokered? So um, identifying not just the needs, um, practical, but also, as you said, what is the atmosphere and relationship needs that we want to address um, in, in creating the dance ecology. It's not just about presenting dance, but it's about nurturing uh, a sustainable and uh, 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 what what's the word I want to use? Uh, environment. Yeah, and, and a positive dance ecology. Absolutely. Uh, uh, that actually gives back. So it's it's not... It's a two-way relationship between the presenter and and the and the performer. And I think it's important to say that it's a it's it is a two-way relationship. Uh, the most productive relationships, the most positive relationships, are the ones which are truly two-way. Yes, you can say that the producer is in a position of certain power, the presenter is in a position of certain power, but the artist has power too, and the artist must assume that he or she has that power and use it responsibly. In a workshop called Presenting Dance it's or Producing Dance, it's very um, uh, easy and natural possibly to assume that it's for people who are on the producing side or on the administration side. Um, but really, the way you're, when you say it's a two-way relationship, you're also talking about artists. Um, who do you think should take advantage of this workshop and what are the reasons they should do it? It will be useful to artists who wish to remain as artists, but it is also useful for artists who wish to move into production or which wish to have an understanding of the issues that the people they're dealing with, the issues they have, I think it's also for presenters and producers who may have experience of presenting and producing in other forms or in specific dance forms, but wish to understand what may be the needs um, to explore together what the issues are and what the needs are. And I think it, could, it would be also useful for people who want to produce dance. I make a subtle difference, differentiation between the producer and presenter roles. Um, to produce dance for me is to help and enable the artist to create the work. But to create the work requires also, um, has a specific set of needs. Uh, and I think it would be useful for people who are interested in providing an environment or a venue for producing dance. Let me hasten to add that we have three hours. In three hours, all these topics are not going to be covered in depth, but at least we can begin to discuss them. And at least we can begin to collectively uh, get our minds thinking and wondering how we help artists, how we help our audiences, how we develop our venues, be more creative, more empowered, uh, more useful to the art form that we love.